Here at Boisfranc in Saint-Georges-de-Beauce, we have attempted to deploy as much genius, know-how and technology as possible to create the best pre-finished hardwood flooring in existence. Our factory, the first of its kind in North America, sets the new quality standards with its Mirage engineered pre-finished flooring. It makes Boisfranc proud and will surely do the same for you. It offers a natural and heartwarming beauty and improves all decor. Mirage Engineered Hardwood Flooring is sold throughout Canada, the United States, Europe and Asia. During installation, you won't find any sanding dust or volatile organic component emanations from the finish. No drying time is required for the finish and you will not have to move in with a neighbor. Long installation time and cleaning chores are over. Before you proceed any further, take a few minutes to discover the richness of the product you have in hand and that will find itself under your feet in no time. The quality of Mirage engineered flooring is illustrated by our manufacturing process. Following are a few of its characteristics. Controlled drying and warehousing that surpasses the standards of the industry and provides a superior stability and a better hardwood quality. Real sawn hardwood wear layer for a real hardwood flooring appearance. It is not an imitation. Ultra thick hardwood wear layer, comparable to the three quarter inch thick flooring, which can be sanded three to five times. Precision milling with perfect tongue and groove fit for easy installation and superior uniformity. The most uniform micron V joint in the industry, on all four sides of the strip, for a superior appearance and durability. Unprecedented protection from the Alumix Advanced Finishing System, featuring an aluminum oxide compound suspended in the UV-cured polyurethane and a residential 25-year finish warranty. Superior quality controls that surpass the standards of the industry at each step of the manufacturing process and that guarantee the same excellent quality from one strip to another and from one box to another. Various installation choices, above, on or below grade, Mirage engineered flooring can be glued down directly over a concrete floor, an approved acoustic underlayment, a radiant heat system, or can also be glued, stapled or nailed down over a plywood subfloor. Considering the great adaptation capabilities of the Mirage engineered flooring and the configurations for installation that we can offer, let us review the following subjects in order. Tools. Preparation. Glued down installation. Riser and nosing. Nailed down installation. Particular cases. Maintenance. Prevention. Repairs. You will require certain tools and accessories before you begin the installation. Mirage recommends the following for all types of installation. A tenon saw, circular saw or hand saw, a broom and dustpan, a claw nailer, a nail punch, a pry bar, a five inch putty knife, a square, a measuring tape, a chalk line, 3M blue tape or equivalent, the Mirage touch-up kit, high quality self-adhesive felt pads, and the Mirage Maintenance Kit. For a glued down installation, you will also need Mirage recommended adhesive like Bostic, BST, Urethane or Franklin 811. For other adhesives, consult with your Mirage dealer. You will also require a rectangular trowel with a 3 16th of an inch V notch or as recommended by the adhesive manufacturer. A leveling bar, a level, two inch concrete nails, holding blocks, a scraping blade, concrete type sandpaper, a leveling compound if required, a spatula, a roller if recommended by the adhesive manufacturer, a moisture meter for concrete, hand and tool cleaning towels such as Bostics, an adhesive cleaner such as Bostic AR2000. For a nail down installation, you will need a hardwood floor nailing machine adjusted to the profile of Mirage Engineered. 
Our specialized dealers will recommend the nailer most suited for the job. A rubber mallet, number 20 grit sandpaper if required, hardwood flooring cleats or staples, a hand drill with a 1 16th of an inch bit, flooring screws and 1 inch finishing nails. You can also purchase pre-finished accessories such as reducers or stair nosing offered by Mirage. Certain dealers will even offer you a choice of baseboards, wood vents and other accessories that will be useful. You will not have to open a construction site or declare your home a disaster area to install your Mirage engineered flooring. You will even be able to transport your material easily without having to rent a tandem trailer. Now it is time to set up the scene. Here is the room in which you will star for a few hours. Evaluate and plan your installation well. Determine the direction in which you wish to lay the strips. To create an effect of depth, install them lengthwise to the room. It is also possible to install them with a 45 degree angle, with or without inserts according to your taste or personality. For an installation over a plywood subfloor, we recommend installing the strips crosswise to the joists or at a 45 degree angle. To avoid surprises, sketch out the installation and decide from which wall or other starting point to begin. Again, your Mirage dealer can help you judiciously. Do not hesitate to ask for advice. Your concrete or plywood subfloor must be in good structural state. On a concrete subfloor, the surface must be flat with a maximum tolerance of 3 16th of an inch over 10 feet. Sand down all elevations and fill in low spots with a leveling compound. On a wood subfloor, make sure that it is properly screwed to the joists to prevent movement and squeaking noises and that it is very straight and level. Replace sections damaged by water. Your subfloor must be clean, free of protruding nails or staples and broom clean. Sweep up everything and get rid of any old adhesive or other dry products. The concrete surface must be porous to provide good adhesion for the glue. When in doubt, get some advice from your specialized Mirage dealer. You will have to remove a 3 8 of an inch thickness from the bottom door frames using a hardwood strip as a guide. For a glued down installation, you will have to remove an extra thickness corresponding to that of the glue. Use the installation guide found in the box. The guide has the same thickness as the glue once the strip has compressed it. Cut the door frames to the given thickness with a handsaw. You will then be able to insert the hardwood strips later. If you need to install an acoustic underlayment, follow the same steps, but this time use two installation guides to allow for two coats of glue plus the acoustic underlayment and the hardwood strip. To answer the needs of our installation, we require an acoustic underlayment. In this case, cork is the one that is best suited. Always use an appropriate and high quality adhesive. To ensure that the underlayment makes good contact with the adhesive, use a roller. Clean the surface well before starting the installation of your hardwood flooring and let the underlayment dry for 24 hours. Your needs might be different from one installation to the other. It is thus important to follow the recommendations of the underlayment manufacturer. Do not hesitate to ask for advice from your specialized Mirage dealer. No matter what your constraints are, you can easily adapt your Mirage engineered flooring to another covering surface by using reducers. First, measure the width of the door frame on the molding and cut a piece to the measured length. Try your molding and glue it down using the appropriate glue for the type of surface. Note that installing the reducer at the beginning of the installation facilitates your work. It is often easier to start at this step rather than end it. Although there are many ways to install Mirage engineered flooring, 
Those that we will show you are among the simplest and safest for the preservation of its beauty and longevity. An installation guide has been included in each box. It is important to read it before starting and during the installation if necessary. Make sure that you start straight and square. Draw a chalk line at 31 inches from the starting wall you have previously decided on. The space that you have created can be used as a work area to begin your installation and will facilitate its ending. Finish your work in this space. This 31 inch area will save you from having to recut the strip that will go against the starting wall and will give you that one quarter inch necessary for the expansion space. Your Mirage engineered flooring has great stability, but remember that wood is a living matter. It moves without you realizing it. That is the reason why you must leave an expansion space between the strips and the walls. Now you should install the boards that are used as holding blocks. They will keep the first strips in place. To do this, use 1 inch by 2 inch by 8 foot boards and 2 inch concrete nails. Nail the boards along the chalk line inside of the work area. Apply the recommended adhesive using a rectangular trowel with a 3 16th of an inch V-notch or as suggested by the adhesive manufacturer. Hold the trowel at a 45 degree angle to the floor and spread the adhesive. The trowel will leave adhesive ridges with very little product in between. This will give you the proper amount of required adhesive to apply, meaning approximately 45 to 50 square feet per gallon. Leave a one half inch space between the adhesive and the holding blocks so that the tongue of the strip that will be leaning against the block is clean of any glue. You will thus facilitate the joining of the strips that will complete the work area at the end. Always check your strips carefully before installing them. Those that do not meet your expectations must be set aside, recut, or relocated in a more discreet area, such as a wardrobe or under furniture, for example. Start with the first row of strips. If you have an angle, as we have here, determine what it is and adjust your saw accordingly. Cut the first strip. Align it with the tongue side along the holding block and press it on the adhesive. The second strip is installed in the same way, but this time you will have to slide its tongue into the groove of the one already in place. Install the following strips in the same way until you have to cut the last one. For a neater and nicer work, alternate the spaces. They must never be at the same spot as the one from the previous row. Distribute your strips on the floor according to an approximate pattern. This will give you an overview and a good idea as to where you will find the spaces. Begin the second row and the others with a strip that is approximately six inches longer or shorter than the one used in the previous row. This will help alternating the spaces. Lay a strip down as close as possible and slide its tongue into the groove of the strip already in place. Apply pressure. Complete the row with the following strips until you have to cut the last one. Measure the remaining space at the end of each row with a selected strip. Mark it and cut it. After it has been installed, there must remain an expansion space of one quarter inch between the wall and the end of the strip. To minimize cutting waste, the selected strip should be of a sufficient length to allow you to start the following row with what is left over. Install the following rows in the same way and avoid putting adhesive into the groove of the strips already in place. 
Do not spread the adhesive on a surface that would take you more than two hours to cover. The adhesive could dry and not provide a good adherence. Note that the flash time might vary from one manufacturer to the other and that temperature and humidity could affect its level. It is preferable to do one section at a time. To maintain the strips in place, use a 3M blue tape or equivalent. This will prevent the strips from moving while you are working. Once you have completed a section of the flooring, you could need to use a roller if the adhesive manufacturer recommends it. In such a case, and before you start rolling, it is primordial to apply a protection film on the roller and to clean it well to prevent damaging the flooring surface. Note that you must roll during the active period of the adhesive. Make sure that your feet do not spoil what your hands have built. Watch for sawdust and wood leftovers. Sweep them up. Immediately, clean up all adhesive spills from the surface with towels prepared for this purpose. It is quite possible that you will have to split some strips for the last row of the main section. Insert them with the pry bar and do not forget to leave room for the one quarter inch expansion space. Once you have completed the main section of the flooring, finish with the installation of the work area. Remove all holding blocks and clean all spills from the surface. Spread the adhesive and this time insert the grooves into the tongues of the strips already in place. Bring down the strip as close as possible to its neighbor and slide the groove into the tongue. Finally, apply pressure. Install the following strips in the same way, while following the above recommendations. The last row should be inserted using the pry bar, without forgetting the one quarter inch expansion space. That's it. You can now walk on your new flooring. Look for adhesive spills on the surface. If you find any, Quickly wipe off using an adhesive cleaner such as the Bostic AR2000 to prevent damage to your floor. For a glued down installation, wait 24 hours before replacing the furniture. The riser is an obstacle that you will rather easily overstep. In this case, Three rows of strips are required to cover the riser. Select those that will make up the first row. Apply wood glue to the back of the first strip. Drill and nail it. Finish the first row in this manner. Select the strips for the second row and complete the same way. In this case, alternate the spaces as well. Choose the strips for the third row. Draw a pencil line resting on top of the landing and cut the strips on a table saw. Apply glue on the back of the strips and rest them on those of the lower row. Drill the edge of the strips at 45 degrees and nail them in place. Complete with the step nosing. Apply glue and install the step nosing. Drill and nail it in place. Finally, use the Mirage touch-up kit to plug the holes. Note that for concrete subfloor, you will have to follow the same steps. You will not use wood glue, however, or nail the strips since you will be using the recommended concrete adhesive. Make sure to start straight and square. Using a chalk line, draw a line that is parallel to the starting wall. For a 2 and 9 16th of an inch wide strip, 
the line must be drawn at 2 13 16 of an inch, reserving one quarter inch for the expansion space. As we mentioned for glued down installation, it is important to carefully check your strips before installing them. Set aside, recut, or relocate those that do not meet your expectations. Start with the first strip, groove side to the wall. Align the tongue edge on the chalk line. With a drill, a claw hammer, and a nail punch, drill the top of the strip and nail it as close as possible to the wall. Repeat this operation every eight inches. You may then use the fill stick from the Mirage touch-up kit to mask the nail heads or hide them using baseboards. Note that since the wall creates an obstacle and prevents you from using the flooring nailer, the first rows must be nailed by hand. You can use it as soon as space permits. Install the following strips, making sure that they are well aligned on the chalk line and until you have cut the last one. At the end of the row, measure the leftover space with a chosen strip. Mark it and cut it. There must be one quarter inch remaining between the strip and the wall after it has been installed. The selected strip should be of a sufficient length to allow starting the second row with the leftover to prevent waste. It should be approximately six inches longer or shorter than the one used in the preceding row. For a more aesthetic look, alternate the spaces that should never be placed adjacent to the ones in the next row. The third and following rows are installed in the same way. But this time, however, space is sufficient to let you use a flooring nailer. Nails must be at approximately four to five inches from each other and at more than two inches from the ends of each strip. Here are a few rules to observe that will help you use your manual or pneumatic flooring nailer. Make sure that the foot of the nailer is always clean and smooth, that it is square and well adjusted against the edge of the strips to prevent damaging them. Do not hesitate to break a strip or two to adjust the flooring nailer and familiarize yourself with it. Adopt a stand-up position when you are using a manual nailer. This will help protect your back and prevent back aches. Maintain the nailer firmly into place and hit the head with the rubber mallet. Use a claw hammer or nail punch to remove a nail that is not completely set. Regularly check the tool and make sure that it is working properly to prevent any damage to the strips. Finally, take care to always carefully lay your flooring nailer on the plywood or on the card strip to prevent damage to the surface finish of the strips. Protect what your hands are building. Sweep up the sawdust and wood residue. Take the card strip boxes apart and lay them on the floor to protect the surface. As you come near the opposite wall, the last three or four rows will have to be installed in the same way as the first ones. The wall blocks and prevents the use of the flooring nailing. Take note that you may possibly have to cut some strips for the last row, the one against the wall. Insert the last row with the pry bar, never forgetting to leave one quarter inch expansion space. Use the fill stick from the Mirage touch-up kit to mask nail holes on the first and last row. Install the baseboards with finishing nails and nail punch. Finally, install the wood vents. We recommend that you always keep spare strips for eventual repairs. Once the installation is finished, vacuum and clean the floor with the Mirage Hardwood Floor Cleaner. And that's it. Since a nailed down installation does not require adhesive drying time, you can immediately walk on your new floor and put your furniture back.
We recommend that you use felt pads under your furniture to facilitate moving it around and to protect your new floor. Now that your dream floor is installed, here are just a few judicious tips that will help you extend its life with you even longer. Your specialized dealer keeps on hand all the products needed to maintain the beauty of your Mirage floor. Get some advice, ask him questions, and request the Mirage Hardwood Floor Maintenance Guide. It is rich in useful and practical information. Besides, Mirage will propose a simple and efficient maintenance method. Always vacuum or sweep the floor before using Mirage Floor Cleaner. In this way, you will remove all dust and abrasive dirt. Lightly spray Mirage Floor Cleaner on a section of the floor or directly onto the terry cloth mop. Clean the floor surface lengthwise of the strips with a back and forth motion. A few other tricks will help you repair certain minor human errors that, more often than not, have a direct effect on your floor. Such is the law of gravity. Food damage is simple to repair. Clean up immediately. Before it dries or sticks, clean up with a sponge or pick up as much liquid as possible with a wet rag well wrung out. Spray Mirage Floor Cleaner on the affected area and wipe. Mirage Floor Cleaner dissolves the dirt and the rag will pick it up. For more stubborn residues, such as adhesive tape or ink, pour a little mineral spirits on a rag and clean up the dirty area. You may end up scratching your head while moving about on the scene of your work and facing various situations. From one area to another, from one room to another, dimensions vary. Obstacles and needs equally. The definition of a typical case is practically impossible. And certain installation techniques may address themselves only to experimented handymen that have reached a certain ability in the art of installing a hardwood floor. Here is another good reason to get advice from your Mirage specialized dealer. We must evaluate each particular case. In order to appreciate the beauty of your Mirage hardwood floor for as long as possible, certain good habits should be adopted. In this way, you will avoid many problems and some worries. Never use wax, oily soap, or any other household cleaner on your floor. They could dull or damage the finish, leaving a greasy film that will render the floor slippery and make its upkeep more difficult. To prevent sand or dirt accumulation in your house, put a doormat in front of each entrance on the outside. Water and sand are the worst enemies of your floor. They may become the cause of its sickness. Inside, install carpets in front of each entrance. Place a carpet in front of the kitchen sink and the dishwasher to protect the floor from spills. Also, ensure that the felt pads placed under the feet of your furniture remain clean and in good shape. Nothing and nobody is sheltered from accidents. As such, tell yourself that your flooring holds a great part of your life and that it is, more than anything, exposed to certain damage. On the other hand, you should be able to do certain repairs on your own. Light scratches can be easily removed by masking them with the Mirage Touch-Up Kit. Clean the damaged surface, brush the felt or wax pencil as the case may be on the scratch and apply a light coat of polyurethane. One of the advantages of a pre-finished hardwood floor is that you can easily replace a strip that has been heavily damaged. Cut out the tongue of the strip to be removed with a wood chisel. Remove the rest of the strip with the wood chisel and carefully remove the tongue and groove without damaging the following strips. Clean the subfloor well. Select a replacement strip that will best match those on the floor.
Remove the lower lip of the groove from the edge and the end of the strip. Finally, apply wood glue and put it into position. If you have a concrete subfloor, replace the wood glue with a concrete adhesive. And here we are. Boisfranc has done the impossible so that your Mirage engineered hardwood floor can be part of your life for a long, long time. Not only will you own a Mirage hardwood floor, but also live with it. It will endure your moods, damages, and it will remain your accomplice in all of your rejoicing and will give you access to the nicest playground there is. Mirage Engineered Flooring is the pride and joy of Boisfranc, and the company is proud to share this sentiment with you. Little by little, you will understand why Boisfranc has become the North American leader in the manufacturing of pre-finished hardwood flooring. Why it delivers more than 20 million square feet of hardwood flooring year after year. Why its products are distributed in the majority of our regions by a network of specialized pre-finished hardwood flooring dealers. And why its dealers are not the last ones on the list. There you will find all the advice and counseling needed in the evaluation, installation, protection, maintenance and repair. They keep large inventory and all their products are stored in controlled environment warehouses. A mirage isn't always an illusion. There is mirage. Then there's the others.